Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day of Camp NaNoWriMo. I am actually pre-filming this video so I'm not entirely sure when it's going to go up, but I will put down below how I'm doing on my word count. Uh, as of the day I'm filming this, not looking so hot. So. <laughs> Fingers crossed, I'm doing better now. Today's video is actually inspired by another fabulous person in my author tube cabin, and that is CO Savvy. Girl, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm so sorry. She commented on my Camp NaNoWriMo week one vlog and said she loved how effortlessly my hands just glided across the keyboard. And she said that a lot of the time she has to sit and think for like minutes at a time and then type for 30 seconds and then think for another minute. And I didn't look like I had to do that in the video. Fun fact, it's all an illusion. <laughs> So that's what today's video is about. I want to talk about some author tube confessions slash tricks that I use slash maybe a little bit about behind the scenes that you may not see otherwise. First off, like I explained to CEO, except for the parts that I just speed up in those videos, I actually know exactly what I'm going to type ahead of time. I know what I am typing. That way I don't have to sit there and film, you know, a minute and a half worth of me just looking at my computer screen like, oh my god why is this so hard? Or like, I have no idea what this person would say right now, or any variation thereof, which is basically just me staring at the screen, which is just, it's not exciting to watch. It's truer to life, but not exciting to watch. And uh, I'm gonna level up that confession a little bit, <laughs> that sometimes when you're not gonna be seeing the screen, I just type, this is a sentence, this is another sentence, I'm just typing sentences that no one can see. That is what I'm typing. <laughs> because it's true, no one's gonna see it. And then I promptly delete those words, I turn off the camera, and then I type what I was going to type when I'm free to sit there looking confused at my screen. For more author tube slash filming specific things, when I am pre-filming videos like this, I will film multiple videos in a day. And sometimes I stay in the same shirt if it's only gonna be like one video. But a lot of times, like today, I'm going to be filming multiple videos in a row. I don't even know how many yet. And so what I do is I change my hair a little bit, I will pin it back like this, I will change my shirt, and I will be ready for the next video. And leveling up that one, because you never actually see the bottom part of my body, uh, I'm in pajama pants or leggings or some shorts that don't match my shirt 99% of the time. <laughs> this time, oh, can I get it up there? Black leggings. Fuzzy blue socks. I have talked at length about my love of socks. So this time I actually kind of sort of match, but I also wouldn't wear this outside my house. But because I am a freelance writer and editor and aspiring author, uh, you know, a lot of the time I actually don't leave my house. <laughs> Unless I'm going for a walk, which I try to do daily, but it doesn't always happen. And unless I need to run errands or even, you know, maybe twice a week I'll have something that I need to go out to do with friends or family. Most of the time, just sitting here in pajamas all day. So for the video, I'll dress up a little bit. Not always though, actually not usually. <laughs> like today, I actually put makeup on because I have something else to do this afternoon, but most of the time you see me, nope. <laughs> and for my final confession slash behind the scenes thing I wanna talk about today is that while you see this background, uh, it's not what I see. But before I get to the monstrosity that I see, I wanna talk a little bit about the camera that I use, which is a Canon, Canon Rebel SL2, I filmed for a whole year, over a year, I filmed on my phone, which now I use uh, for notes. Focus. There we go. But I used to use this baby to record with. And what I would do was I would stack multiple books on top of each other or like laundry hampers and then stack the books on top of the laundry hampers. You know, I would sub out bigger books and smaller books depending on the angle I wanted. I would take a piece of tape, I would angle my camera down a little bit and tape it to, I'd actually put a Kleenex box on the very top so that it didn't ruin any of my precious books with tape. And I would tape it at an angle and then I would film. I could not see myself. So there used to be multiple videos where like all this extra stuff was in frame and it, I mean, it was, it worked fine. One of my most viewed videos is when things aren't in frame. And I also used to use Windows Live Movie Maker, which is free and came at the time with all of the Windows computers. So I don't think you need anything fancy to start out on AuthorTube or BookTube. And some people are like magic and even manage to do things in one take all the way through. That's not me as again, witnessed in the bloopers, but you know, it's an option. <sighs> 
So it's time to show you the monstrosity that I am looking at. So I'm gonna show you the camera now, which I do have a tripod for that my camera is sitting on. So you can see my camera, you can see it's, oh look, my coffee. <laughs> so that's kind of what I am looking at, uh, if only for the camera and the tripod, which it's kind of a flimsy tripod. I don't think you need, again, I don't think you need anything fancy. You could just do the book tape Kleenex box method if you wanted. <laughs> and I wanna warn you ahead of time that I am packing up to go on my eight month long super mega solar road trip that I leave in in just a few days. Ah, although when you're seeing this, I might already be on the road. Oh my gosh, that sounds crazy. <laughs> Anyways, so everything's kind of a disaster. Ooh, not kind of, it's a disaster. I'm just gonna swivel this guy so you can see it. Hello, I got this in Mexico. Anyways, let's see. So this is where I was just sitting and now we're going to turn, look at all of the stuff that needs to be packed up. Ooh, beautiful. And now we're back. Sometimes I have a lamp that I sit on whatever I have at the time. There we go. To angle at me because although I'm using natural light right now and the light from my bedroom, it kind of works. You'll notice I have lighting problems in a lot of my videos because I'll film at night and things just don't work or sometimes I'll film during the day and then the clouds betray me. So I definitely don't think I make the most, you know, professional videos in the world, but I make, you know, sufficient videos. I think that's all you really need. So if you've been wanting to make videos, I hope this could help a little bit, maybe. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. Please comment down below. And if you make videos, I would love to hear about what some of your author tube confessions are. Do you, like me, film yourself typing just nonsense? <laughs> and if you haven't made a video yet, but you're thinking about it, what are some tips and tricks that you would like to hear about? I will help in whatever way I can. And if I can't help you, I know several other author tubers that are a little bit more professional than me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna get back to packing and I will see you all tomorrow with a new video. Bye. So first off, like I told Sio, Sayo? Girl, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right, that's all the, oh, and if you make videos, I would apps, hello, hello.